A pricey project is under the microscope in Temple Terrace tonight. Claims of falsified documents and awarding a contract to an unqualified bidder are aimed at the city manager. Eight on your side, senior investigator Walt Buteau joins us in studio to explain. And our records request revealed there is an active investigation on this case. The allegations involve hiring an unlicensed contractor for a taxpayer-funded project and allegedly trying to conceal what happened. A racquetball court project at the Temple Terrace Family Recreation Center went out to bid about eight months ago. Under city ordinance, since the contract was less than $25,000, it did not require city council approval. Some alleged wrongdoing that I believe merits investigation. Now the council is involved, following an anonymous letter to newly elected Meredith Abel. According to Abel, the document accuses city manager Charles Stevenson of choosing an unlicensed contractor for the job, while also claiming he falsified documents. Stevenson was about to defend himself. You should not address this. Charles, Charles, be careful, please. All right, just relax, take a breath. But he followed Mayor Andy Ross's advice and kept quiet during the meeting last week until walking out of council chambers. The city manager, whose 2018 contract started at $144,000 a year, has not responded to our requests for comment. It makes me really uneasy to directly receive payment. Abel read the letter out loud during the meeting, saying a city attorney advised her to do that. So I couldn't sit on this. I couldn't talk about... It to the city manager because it pertains to him. Our records request for documents tied to the contract was met with this note that states, quote, investigation docs are exempt. We'll have a objective, clear-cut, um, thorough investigation conducted. Abel got back to me late this afternoon and says she cannot comment on an ongoing investigation. Ross has not responded to requests for comment. We did ask which agency is investigating this, but so far no answer to that question. But did the council ever consider putting Stevenson on leave during the investigation? So Abel made a motion to do that. It was supported by another council member, seconded, but the vote was three to two against the idea. So just those two. Just right. those two. All right. Thank right. you. Thanks, Walt. If you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, call our eight on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.